Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Meredith from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today? I'm well, thanks, Tracy. And of course, West Red Lake Gold, for those of you out there following the gold mark, know that this is an Ontario district that many of us who love gold are following. Can you provide kind of some competitive advantages on West Red Lake Gold for our audience, please, Tom? Sure. I, we're in Red Lake, which is one of Canada's best known gold mining districts. It uh, was uh, the foundation of Gold Corp, which was uh, created a tremendous amount of value for shareholders. And we are about 20 kilometers away from that significant deposit. We are on the right mineral strike length. We have a resource, so we can be valued as per ounce in the ground resource. So that makes it easy for investors to value our company relative to peers and relative to the market pricing for gold resource ounces in the ground. And of course, what do we have here today, Tom? But I know we had a news release cross the wire and we had drilling results. And uh, I saw, what do we have here? Eight, eight results? Yeah, we had 10 drill holes. They all had gold in them. And uh, we, I think we highlighted uh, six or eight results. Well, I saw you know some rather high numbers. I'm I'm assuming you want to give our audience some of the highlights, please. Certainly, uh, we we are drilling a, an area called the NT zone. That's a new area. It's not where our resource is. Our 1.1 million ounce resource is on another portion of the property. This is a few hundred meters away. It's an opportunity for us to build a new resource on the property and expand the resource base. Uh, it's on a structure called the NT zone, which is about two kilometers in length. And we started drilling at the south end of it uh, a year or so ago. We have put out some very good results on in the two previous releases. And in this set of results, we, we expanded further along Stripe from uh, the area that we had focused on. And we're trying to expand the size of it. We've only covered maybe one third of the total strike length of the NT zone, and there's a lot of exploration potential left in the NT zone. Well, congratulations on the results that were put out today. We always enjoy hearing updates from West Red Lake Gold, but I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you this, but what are we looking at for the future for West Red Lake Gold? Our goal is to build up a resource at the NT zone and also ideally find some very high grade gold zones within the NT zone. We did find one uh, a while ago. We've got some very good results. We're now starting to look for more high grade zones. And in addition to that, just north of the NT zone, we have another area called the structural intersection where we just did a, a mag survey that we announced. We're waiting for those results, which could find us some more drill targets. And why that's interesting is because that's where you can find even larger gold zones. So geologically, the structural intersection area just at the north end of the NT zone is exciting from a geological perspective. Well, I mean, that certainly sounds exciting to me. What's the timeline, you know, for this? Well, we're going to continue drilling throughout the rest of this year and in through next year. So we're just going to keep drilling the NT zone and work our way up into the structural intersection target area, which goes around into the Rowan area where we do have our resource, looking at new drill targets and hoping to find, you know, a very high value gold zone. Well, and speaking to all the gold experts out there, David Morgan tells me it's not too late to get in on the bull market for gold. Uh, Dr. Henry Weingarten, is he, is he a doctor? Do you remember, Tom? I saw that he text messaged me just before this interview and he told me, he says, I told you, things are going to get better here in gold in the next couple of months. So from your perspective as a gold expert with a geological background, can you tell us what you think is going to happen in the gold market here in the next uh, couple of months into the new year? Well, I'm going to look at it more in the next couple of years. Uh, the background is as central banks around the world are printing money and they've got to print a lot more money. And what that does is that actually enhances the value of gold. And you've got people like Bank of America calling for gold to be at $3,000 an ounce in 18 months. Well, a lot of that gain from 2000 to 3000 falls to the bottom line, and the bottom line being the value of a resource ounce in the ground. So right now, we may be valued in the market 
at $20, $30 an ounce, depending on the market price at the time. And at $3,000 an ounce gold, you'd see tremendous increase in that valuation as much of that new value in the gold price actually comes to the resource ounce in the ground. So for the next two years, as we work to build our resource, we also expect to see more capital flowing into the sector and increasing the value of resource ounces in the ground. Well, I'll tell you, we have to get a whole panel of gold experts. We certainly want you on that, Tom. Thank you so much for joining us today and providing an update on West Red Lake Gold. Thank you, Tracy. My pleasure.